Are you a news junkie who can stop reading and talking about today's headlines? Come on, let's explore and learn about radio station stuff and personal and its duties. Good day learners! Welcome to another learning experience in journalism. First, I need you to make yourselves comfortable and get ready to listen carefully to our lesson. I am teacher Jorice Sarael Anudin from the special program in journalism of Magnagan National High School, Pantuka North District. We'll bring you to the world of Journalism 9 or radio broadcasting. Now, let us discover and be acquainted with the duties and responsibilities of the staff in school radio news program. Before we begin with our new lesson, let us know our lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to Identify the four core departments of a radio news program and its staff and personnel. Explain the duties and responsibilities of the staff in a radio news program using the organizational chart and Develop skills, attitudes, and values in presenting radio news and other program. Today, let us talk about the essentials in the radio news program. Take a look at the sample radio station program video. I know you are curious and eager to know who are the voices and the people behind the radio news program. My dear learners, prepare your pen and notebook and list down the important key points about our lesson. But before we start with our discussion, let us have this short activity. Can you tell me what is this picture all about? Very good! It's an organizational structure of a radio news program. Now, let us be acquainted with the people behind the radio news program. Everyone knows what is a receptionist, HR person, or manager does. But, what about a music director, or a production director? What about a radio announcer? Radio stations are largely made up of staff who function in ways specific to the radio news program. Here are the staff and personnel of a radio news program. First, is the radio announcers. What does radio announcers do? You're right! Announcers in radio perform a variety of tasks on and off the air. They announce station program information such as program schedules and station breaks for commercials or public service information as they introduce and close the programs. They are commonly referred to as radio anchor or radio DJs. Second is the radio animator. What does radio animators do? Radio animators read prepared advert script or ad lib dialogue in commercials suitable for the selling of a product or service. These are usually freelancing and report to the production manager. Production manager are expected to create interesting and ear-catching radio spots and skits for the clients. Third is the play-by-play -play announcers. What does play-by-play -play announcers do? Play-by-play -play announcer provide an on-spot account in sports narrative and provide a colorful play-by-play -play action of live sports activities. In some radio enterprises, 
they are referred to as commentators. Fourth is the radio program's manager or director. What does a radio program's manager or director do? The radio program's manager or head of programming is responsible for planning and coordinating the day-to-day -day programming of a radio station. He or she manages programming resources, including personal, locally and nationally generated broadcast materials. Further still, the manager monitors broadcast traffic and makes improvements where necessary to enhance programming format. The PD evaluates materials prior to broadcast for accuracy, quality, and adherence to commission guidelines in addition to maintaining quality control of broadcast material. Fifth is the Personal Administrative Manager, or PAM. The PAM manages and supervises administrative services and special projects run by the station. He or she is responsible for a variety of administrative, fiscal, and or personal, as well as specialized functions. The primary difference between this job and other administrative portfolios relate to the size and complexity of the department and the scope of responsibility. Six is the news editor. What does a radio news editor do? Radio news editors oversee and direct the work of a news team supplying news content for one or more different outlets from single local radio stations to international news services. The news editor gives the legality of any news package. Seven is the news presenter. What does a broadcasting presenter do? Broadcasting presenters provide a public voice or face to a range of shows, broadcast on TV, radio, and the internet. Also, reporters gather information from various sources, analyze and prepare news stories, and sometimes present the information on air. On the other hand, correspondents file stories about events happening in the regions are stationed. News reporters are under the supervision of the news editor. Eight is the technical department. What does a technical department do? Employees in this department operate and maintain the equipment ranging from studio machines to transmitters. They are interchangeably referred to as engineer, technician, or operator. They also manage equipment that regulates the signal strengths, clarity, and range of sounds. And operate equipment to regulate the volume and audio quality of a broadcast. This department is headed by the Chief Engineer. Ninth is the Marketing Sales Executives. The Marketing Executives sell advertising time to business companies, advertising agencies, and other organizations on behalf of the radio station. They must be highly knowledgeable about the station's mission and vision to reach target format and other related listeners' demographics, including income levels, gender, age, and consumption patterns. 
10 is the traffic controller. What does a traffic controller do? He or she schedules and lines up spot adverts, commercials, and promotion to be played by the announcers. The traffic controller carefully schedules commercials taking into account both the time slot in which a commercial is to be played as well as spot adverts in relation to competitors in the given business. For example, two car dealership spot adverts should not be played during the same commercial break. This portfolio calls for high concentration, confidence, and sensitivity. 11. The Music Director Every radio station must have somebody in charge of music. In addition to producing music playlists on a daily basis, he or she coordinates the compiling of new songs, stores old hits for future use, and helps keep the station in line with the format. For example, just music, R&B, or rhythm and blues, country music, local hits, all this, rock, and etc. He or she works hand in hand with the PD to produce theme days and nights. Production manager. The production manager is in charge of the production studio. He or she assigns announcers, animators, schedules studio time for recording, produces commercial and station promos. In some radio establishments, this manager doubles as a radio producer. He or she directs and produces recordings of programs. Remember, not all programs on a radio station are broadcast live. And lastly, the promotions director coordinates and executes station promotion ideas and activities for both the programming and marketing departments. He or she creates and manages listeners' contests and promotion in addition to fulfilling other value-added promotions on behalf of the clients. Now, let us further understand the organizational structure presented earlier of our discussion. And let's be familiar with the four core departments usually found at most radio stations. Can you enumerate the four core departments of a radio news program? Very good! The four core departments usually found in most radio stations are sales, operations, engineering, and programming. Now, let us be familiar with every department of a radio station program. The first department is the sales department. The sales department, led by a sales manager, is responsible for the sale of all commercial time to local, regional, and national sales advertisers. Next is the operations department or traffic department led by an operation manager is responsible for placing the advertising on the air in compliance with the contracts executed with the advertisers. And then the engineering department led by the chief engineer is responsible for keeping the station on the air with the best signal possible. Another is the programming department led by the program director. Program director is responsible for the audio sound and format of the station including news, music, and public affairs coverage. Stations with a news talk format may have a news director to coordinate news and public affairs coverage. Station with a music format may have a music director 
to coordinate the development and implementation of the station music format. And the one who spearhead the four core departments is the general manager or station manager has overall responsibility for leading the four core departments and the day-to-day -day operation of the radio station. The general manager must hire the department heads and establish their goals and monitor and evaluate their performance. Knowing the duties and responsibilities of the staff in a school radio news program and its four core departments are very significant if you wish to have a radio news program in your institution. Nevertheless, radio news program differs to a radio broadcasting competition because in a radio broadcasting competition, there are only seven members in a team and it includes one or two anchor, one script writer, three news presenter, director, and technical applicator or editor. Now that our lesson is over, it's time to check and measure what you've learned. For our activity, you have to write the letter of the correct answer. You will be given 5 seconds for each question. Are you ready to do the activity? If you're ready, let's start! Let's find out if you have answered it correctly. Did you get the right answer? Very good! Congratulations students, you did a great job today. For your homework, Please answer the following questions flash on your screen. Don't forget to write it in your notebook.
you learn something today? Don't forget to share what you have learned. Remember, sharing is more than winning. Once again, this is your Isa Sarael Anudin from the special program in journalism of Magnaga National High School, Pantuca North District. Saying, dito, sa TV Escuela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!